This is the magic, magic bean. Rohan Bopana's magic bean will ultimately reflect in what we taste in the cup. In tennis, my serve is my strength. So ah. today I'm going to serve you master blend from the Maverick and Farmer Cafe. And I'm sure it's going to be an ace. Huh? <laughs> it 100% will be an ace. Fantastic. You know, brewing coffee can also be very therapeutic. It's not yeah. just drinking the coffee. Ah. <laughs> we're beginning to appreciate that. <laughs> so we're also going to infuse it with a little bit of cinnamon smoke. This is very light. Impressionable yet, you know, it's like that uh, guest who arrives home and leaves when you want him. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So that's something called the clarified cappuccino. Mm. So it was a cappuccino about say half an hour ago and then... So there was milk in this? Yeah, yeah it was. So what do you do to it? I'm not telling you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. I travel with my own uh, oh, filter. Oh really? The South Indian filter. Ah. Nothing like eating in the hands. Yeah. It really gives you no, <laughs> every flavor. I tell you. This is the real coffee place you had to visit. I'm glad you made it to huh. the Maverick and Farmer coffee here in Al Sur. As I was talking about the Rohan Bopana Master Blend, which I carry suitcases and suitcases and given it to a lot of the tennis players, I would love for you to come and try it out. We have it right here, this uh, blend. Uh, the beans come from uh, my estate in uh, Madhapur in Kurk. In Kurk, okay. Uh, so I have some dear friends in the Maverick and Farmer who are really kind enough to have me associated with them and come up with this blend. And uh, they're always innovating with new flavors and different, different flavors of coffee, which Fantastic. I think everybody has been enjoying. So, you know, hence I really wanted to bring you here to, uh, you know, try a different experience of uh, coffee. So we've just come from Mamali Tiffin Room in Lalbagh. And so when Rohan said, I want you to taste a blend, that I am involved in, in the making of, I said we must definitely try it. And I haven't been here yet to Maverick and Farmer, but I know these guys are serious about their coffee. When I see all those clipboards there, huh? they've yeah. got everything from an espresso, cappuccino, macchiato, latte, americano, cortado. There's some coffees I have not even heard of before. India in general is changing. A lot okay. of people are enjoying the various different uh, styles of coffee, you know, a lot of people who like their coffee without milk now, so hence there are a lot of ah. other different flavors. And of course, you know, a lot of people when they're having their even their coffee with milk, they either like it with almond milk or soya milk. So here we give them a full variety full of variety. and an experience of really enjoying, you know, the coffee from India. And I think today India's coffee is very, very much up there. Correct. And I think a lot more uh, Indians are ex appreciating, uh, you know, the coffee we serve. Fantastic. But then like they say, the proof of the pudding, or in this case, the proof of the bean. This is the magic, magic bean. Rohan Bopana's magic bean will ultimately reflect in what we taste in the cup. So, so I think we should... 100%, you know, like in tennis, my serve is my strength. So ah. today I'm going to serve you master blend from the Maverick and Farmer Cafe. And I'm sure it's going to be an ace. Huh? Uh. It 100% will be an ace. Fantastic. <laughs> the ones we've spoken so much of the blend huh. I think we should definitely get the experts here more than the experts the Q graders <laughs> if talking about Q graders there's only about 5,000 people in the world who are a Q graders and we have two of the finest <laughs> right here Fantastic. Chandani and Ashish so we let them brew coffee for us today including the Rohan Bopanda blend absolutely so what's a Q grader that's the first so, question that I have Q grader is a certification. So if you're a Q grader, basically you need to pass a whole series of tests, about 23, 24 yeah. tests uh. for a period of five to six days and very intense tests, uh, basically evaluating your sensory analysis and how you can find defects in coffee, how you can 
fine tasting notes in coffee so it's a it's a little complicated but yeah it's quite <laughs> intense all q graders are the only ones who are uh, internationally licensed to give you a grade for every coffee and also attach a price to it super so what are we brewing here so we're going to do a few different things mm. uh, we have one that is a whiskey barrel aged coffee so we've aged this for a few months in a whiskey barrel Okay. Uh, to imbibe all the flavors from the cask of it, so we'll do a nice pour over with that, huh. and then we're Rohan. doing a regular pour over with uh, Rohan Bopanna's master blend, but we're going to serve it as a cinnamon pour over. So that's something that we've done for the monsoons, a little menu that we've done for that. So we're going to serve it in that style. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a couple of espressos, one with classic uh, robusta, and then we'll probably do some of our. Um, very cool drinks that we serve here, which is the clarified cappuccino, the world's first clarified cappuccino. Clarified cappuccino. Yeah. Well, when I said clarified, I thought of tuppa immediately. <laughs> so that's clarified <laughs> butter. butter. That's and right. it's just come from uh, Mavili Tiffin Room. Right. Uh, yeah. So this is interesting. Yeah. You so know, and the good part about every time I come here, they always come up with some amazing, <laughs> amazing different blends. Uh, you know, uh, the other day I was reading about a coconut based. Right. Uh, uh, you know, coffee. So, you know, after traveling to come now and, uh, you know, try all this right here at home, I think that's few grading experts who are really coming up yeah. with the blends. Super. Right. Super. So, Rohan, uh, we are going to serve up your coffee with a little twist, keeping in mind the monsoon season that, that's going on. Uh, we're going to add a little bit of cinnamon to give it a nice little warm, spicy, comforting feel for this cup. So this coffee is going to taste a lot like Christmas with the cinnamon and... Yes, uh, nice <laughs> and warm and comforting. <laughs> Lovely. When you roast the coffee, there are a lot of trapped gases in the beans okay. itself. So this also depicts how fresh the coffee is. So these gases are basically escaping when we pour the water in. If it's fresh, you'll have more gases escaping. Oh, okay. So you yes. really want that coffee to be lively, right. very effervescent right. in a yes. manner of speaking. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Something color, very interesting that's amazing. brewing here. Yeah, this looks so beautiful. This is, <laughs> the color is... And that's the whiskey barrel aged coffee. Yes, that's right. Lovely. So we'd never go over 92, 93 degrees because anything more than that will just burn the coffee. Oh. So we play with the temperatures a little bit based on what flavors we want to get out of it. Wonderful. But yeah. So and that it smells so nice. <laughs> <laughs> you can definitely get it. Yeah. Can you get the cinnamon? Yeah, cinnamon? yeah, now you're getting a bit of that. Yeah. yeah. So it slowly releases its yes. essential yeah. oils with the right. temperature. Yes. Wonderful. You know, just watching this happen, it seems very therapeutic. It is. It uh, is, I You know, right. brewing coffee can also be very therapeutic. It's not yeah. just drinking the coffee. Ah. <laughs> We're beginning to appreciate that. <laughs> I think everything needs patience to there be is. better, I think. <laughs> <laughs> In general, yeah. And like they say, yeah. all good things come to those who have patience. Have patience. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> That's the Rohan Bopanna Master Blend in the style of a cinnamon pour over. You can smell the cinnamon too. Yeah. <laughs> Monsoon coffee. Monsoon coffee. <laughs> Not monsooned coffee, but monsoon coffee. <laughs> so we are also going to infuse it with a little bit of cinnamon smoke. So whether you like it or not, there's cinnamon all around. There's no getting away from the cinnamon on this one. Yeah, of course, it's just a very mild whiff once you open the cup and the smoke sort of dissipates. So you have the coffee right. and the uh, cinnamon air. Yes, yeah. Thank you, Shreeram. <laughs>
Okay, so what we have here is a whiskey barrel aged coffee. Okay. Uh, we do this with uh, good old wash coffees, Arabica and Robusta. We age them in whiskey barrels for a few months mm. for them to imbibe all the flavors from the cask. So uh, we have an exclusive tie-up with Amrut where we okay. do an exchange program where we uh, send the barrels back and they're now creating a coffee flavored whiskey with it as well. Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a nice exchange. Yeah. I'm sure there's some whiskey too that comes, as, of comes course, back as part of it. Of course, of course. Not a bad trade. Angel share. Angel share. Try it first and then if you all would like to, we can even put the lime into it and it just mm. gives it a little bit of tang. Yeah. <laughs> cheers. 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 I'll guarantee there's no whiskey in it. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you, thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> very nice. nice. You know what I find in this is a very easy sipping sort of a coffee. Right. It's not the sort of coffee that sinks deep into your tongue. Right. Yeah. Right. So it's very light, impressionable yet. You know, it's like that uh, guest who arrives home and leaves when you want him to. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, that kind of a guest. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very, what I call a very sippable. Yeah. Mmm. Fruit fermentation is something that everyone is really enjoying of late. Okay. Uh, I think um, it just brings in so much more sweetness into the coffee. It's not directly adding fruit itself, but we actually create uh, yeasts in house that give it the same effect oh. as adding the fruit. It's very technical, but uh, it changes the microbial activity and then the flavors that go Fantastic. into the bean itself. So you're replicating the yeast that would otherwise be present in the fruit. Correct. Something similar Correct. to that. Yes. And it's that yeast that actually acts upon the coffee and gives Right. that character. Right. I think our next coffee is ready. Yeah. This I think is the Rohan Bopanna Master Blend. So we have to place it in front of the master. <laughs> the Rohan Bopanna Master Blend with Ashi's ah. extra little <laughs> twist of cinnamon in Let's it. Let's see if you still recognize the coffee. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Ah. Oh wow. I love the there theater. <laughs> I think all the cinnamon though went Ashi <laughs> 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 I got none of it. No, but you can smell the cup now. Mm. So it's um, uh, I'm going to pour a little into this. Okay. And of course, we are going to split. So the remaining we will give in our good old chai glasses. Ah, perfect. 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 So have you ever had your coffee this way? I haven't actually. This is going to be the first time I am actually trying uh, the little cinnamon. You know, you've just returned from Wimbledon, so you <laughs> yeah. should probably have it like the gentry out there do. Absolutely. We'll have it from yeah. our uh, chai tumblers. Cutting chai. Cutting chai. <laughs> Cheers. 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 This is from Rowan's estate and uh, mm. it's the same Arabica bean but processed in two different kinds of ways. One is a pulp sunrise which gives it a slightly fruity flavor mm -hmm. and the density in the body and then one is, the, is a washed process. So it's a, it's a blend of those two processes of the same bean. It's a really nice uh, mellow coffee so we're infusing it with a little bit of cinnamon thanks to the cloud. Yeah, it's perfect, it's perfect for this weather. Yeah. It's perfect for yeah. having it raining outside. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. And also this is a coffee that's perhaps a little more fulsome. Yes, yeah. And that is because of the combination of the... Yes, so the honey sunrise, the honey sunrise processing that I was talking about, it actually makes the, the coffee a slightly heavier body than usual. So we've removed the skin, but we removed the, leave the mucilage on it. Oh, and dry okay. It. Cinnamon, uh, I can still feel it. Complements it very well. Yeah. You know, I don't know, somewhere, as I sip on this coffee, towards the end, Right. And this may sound a little weird. It's tasting a little coconutty. <laughs> okay. You know, when I just taste the vapor, 
right. right. of the right. coffee that's yeah. in my yeah. mouth. I mean, this is very uh, nuanced. Yeah. That's right. a good thing. So next time someone asks, if they, they say they like coconut and I can definitely <laughs> <laughs> try this out. I mean, suggest to that. Fantastic. <laughs> well, I really love this as well. So I think both the coffees pulled in many different directions. What are we tasting next? So that's something called the clarified cappuccino. Mm. So it was a cappuccino about say half an hour ago and then we use a very age-old technique that's actually used in the bar industry, in artisanal bars to clarify a cocktail and we use that process to clarify a cappuccino. So there was milk in this? Yeah, yeah it was. So what do you do to it? I'm not telling you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is a coffee that is very intriguing. I've never Thank heard of a clarified coffee before. This is going to be the cheap guest. No, that's... Uh, that's all yours. I've tried this many, many times. Really? Yes. Chandni. Thank you. Fantastic. I'm not going to say no to Thank that. <laughs> With a twig of rosemary, is it? Yes. Yeah. Cheers. 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 It has all of the caffeine, but none of the milk solids from the cappuccino. Mm -hmm. And of course, it's flavored with a little bit of rosemary. Mm. The first step is very herbaceous with the rosemary, mm -hmm. of course. So there was milk in this? There was milk. So that milk has been clarified? Yes. So I don't know if it's... <laughs> so if you're getting into that, it's only for uh, Aarti to give in the recipe. I don't think <laughs> that's <laughs> <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> so it's uh, it's quite obvious that the milk has been subjected to heat, right? Yeah. yeah. Of course, I'm very used to tasting the coffees that I taste in all the places that I right. visit. We've just tasted some. Uh, this is the exact opposite end of the spectrum, right. and I think it's interesting to see the journey that Indian coffee is making, right? Yeah. And it's nice. I mean, India is at that stage where people are just so happy and willing to experiment huh. and I think it's time we actually showcase what's possible in India because unfortunately most of the most countries don't even know that India produces coffee, mm. it's really good quality. We have two great producers here mm. uh, sitting with us and we think it's time that the world actually sees what India is capable of doing from a coffee perspective and uh, not just from producing but how we are able to present it in very different, unique, exciting experimental ways. Having the World Coffee Conference coming up, I think it's going to you know, help that. Time. I mean, especially it's yeah. a good time for them to yeah. have it here in uh, India and I think uh, it's going to make a big difference for you know everyone Once, across the world yeah. to really know how India has evolved. Fantastic. And also, I mean, you're, I've seen the journey that coffee makes from the bean to the cup mm -hmm. at your coffee plantation. And uh, over the last few years, one has also come to appreciate, you know, what makes Indian coffee so unique, yes. right? So the fact that all our coffee is grown under shade, shade. Yes. the fact that our coffee, the berries are hand-picked, right. let's yeah. say as opposed to other countries where there may be large fields. Yeah. We are not only just hand-picking yeah. it, like they're all, all our labor, our skill to pick the perfectly ripe cherry of the tree. Right. Mm. And that completely changes the way it tastes in the cup as well. You know, I think the World Coffee Conference will yeah. probably be... Yes, yeah, so it's a great platform to showcase what India is doing with mm. coffee. I think um, we've been too silent for too long okay. and this is a fantastic platform to show the world what we've been doing. Uh, along with it, we are also taking all our delegates around for uh, plantation tours. Oh, fantastic. So we're, you know, we're showcasing the plantations itself, we're showcasing the bean to cup story. And since coffee's grown so differently in India, that's, that's something that's an experience itself. So the World Coffee Conference happens in September? 25th to the 28th of September all right. at uh, Bangalore Palace. And it's a historical first. Yes, yeah. it's the first time it's happening in Asia. And we've been lucky enough to have this opportunity to showcase India with it. Uh, not only India, but there are a lot of countries also coming in and showcasing their countries along with it. We have workshops, we have lectures, we have uh, uh, a cultural depiction of coffee in India and uh, coffee growing cultures as well. Uh, the food, so we're opening it up to the public as well. Oh, we want everyone to experience Indian coffee and what we've been doing with coffee as well, right? So right from where you said you had coffee and MTR this morning to the clarified cappuccino that we're having that Ashish 
which made us that's a long journey in itself mm. but in a very short time and uh, we want people to experience that we believe that education in coffee itself is very important to mm. be able to experience more of it wonderful okay. talking of that uh, we have one more if yeah you educate us <laughs> that's right because uh, ashish is going to give away his <laughs> <laughs> recipe yeah. So is the coffee clarif? I mean, just <laughs> last one last question. Is the coffee clarified uh, with the milk, or is the milk clarified later? One second. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's clarified. So it's actually out there. I mean, it's you know the clarified butter, the old uh, huh, way of literally uh, using. Tupa, I was saying. No, right. You know those grounds when you clarify butter. I remember yeah. when my mom would do it at home. I would right. like to taste that very hot. Mm. Right. You know that flavor note okay. somewhere yeah. that okay. yeah. somewhere in there, right? Yeah, I, you know it. This registers that memory for yes. me. Yeah. yeah. So am I somewhere there? Yeah. Definitely, uh, you know, look this coffee up at Maverick and Farmer. Something that has totally blown me away. I wasn't yeah, really expecting to be tasting coffee in an avatar like this, and it's quite apparent of the work. the passion the artistry that's going into brew the coffee is here ashish i'm so happy to meet you after 5 years 6 years likewise thank but you. more than meeting them i'm very happy to meet this <laughs> clarified coffee check it out at maverick and farmer delicious so that's a happy coincidence sir it is truly a very very happy coincidence yeah that we both have the same design the c master the omega c master of course his is a mine is a bond edition bond edition one of the reason being i'm ranked 7 in the world so i thought this will be a suitable match for me yeah, like i said uh, you know earlier huh. first time i was ranked number 7 was a decade ago so that's wow. when i bought the watch oh really yeah Fantastic, super. <laughs> What we are going to taste now is actually a Robusta, one of the more neglected coffees so far. Okay. Uh, but with with different work that we're doing in processing itself. So at Harley we have a processing research institute, and we've been doing a lot of work on in increasing the complexity of the Robusta coffees mm. itself. So we're trying to bring in the levels of an Arabica coffee flavors into the Robusta. This is not a blend. This is our own homemade yeast that we use for fermentation itself. Mm. Um, you know, so. Go ahead, try it. So there's a ritual here, is it involving the coffee and the water? And what is this? No, that's actually that's soda oh, because okay. we've tasted a lot of coffees just to sort of cleanse, cleanse your palate ah, with this. Okay. Uh, this is jaggery hmm. for if you need to sweeten it. Nice crema still. Mm -hmm. mm. That's the beauty of the Robusta, Robusta right? Yeah. yeah. This is a wake up call. It is. It is definitely. This And the acidity that's coming out of the robusta as well is mm. just, yeah. yeah. So is there any uh, specialized processing for this or? It? Yeah, this is our own in-house recipe that we have. Yes. Uh-huh. Your clarified. <laughs> like your clarified cappuccino. Right back at you. <laughs> <laughs> you know where to find the coffee if you want. Yes. <laughs> But you're right. The acidity that kind of mm -hmm. registers the tone of bitterness, right? Yeah. It's a very mild bitterness. It's more like a cocoa bitterness. Mm. You know. Um, Are there any of uh, any competitions in terms of uh, blends and or beans? I think World uh, Coffee Conference. Uh, there yeah. is a national barista championship. Okay. A women's brewing championship happening. Mm -hmm. right? Uh, there's also a South Indian filter coffee. Yeah, that's it's the first time that we are actually have a in the world. It's the first time that we have a South Indian filter coffee competition. Yeah. Another interesting uh, one is that we have an all women's brewing championship. So yeah. Wow. yeah. You know, I think the most interesting part of this whole experience has been to see the expression of coffee. When it comes to Karnataka, yeah. of course, there are a few coffee growing regions, right? Whether it's in Coorg, whether it's in Sakleshpur, Chikmagalur. But what's fascinating is right. to see the. Nuances and expressions yeah. 
right? Right from the very light coffees mm. that we tasted to something as intense, as bold as right. this. That's going right. to be on your palate even right. 30 minutes after you right. left right. this place. Huh? The theatre that we had with the coffee, right? right? Uh. So presentation is also yeah. so important. So we also have the latte art competition along with all of this. Fantastic. So, you know, th we're bringing in all aspects of coffee as much as we can. And yeah, I think that latte art is amazing because, you know, sometimes <laughs> uh, when I'm travelling constantly, in a cappuccino or a flat white, when they do that art, it's, yeah. it's truly something. It's a first so impression, a, right? So yeah. it really stays and that's it's lovely. Really appetizing. So well, there's a lot that's brewed this morning in our uh, journey with Rohan Bopanna from Maveli Tiffin Room to Maverick and Farmer. But there's going to be plenty more brewing at the World Coffee Conference in September that's from right. the 25th to the 28th. To the 28th of September. It's a historic first, the first conference in Asia and we in Bengaluru are privileged to yeah, host it. Absolutely. So definitely make note of the dates and if you're a coffee lover, you have to be there, yeah. right? And if you're not a coffee lover also, please be there and please come and try something new. That's right. That's the, the biggest and most fun part of it. Fantastic. So Rohan, I've enjoyed this morning thoroughly with you. Thank you, Krupa. Thank you so uh, much for you know having me. I, it's, I've also truly uh, you know enjoyed that from Rava Idli to the dosa to trying various cups of coffee. I think it's been a magical morning. And thank you, Ashish and Chandni, for taking us through this journey of coffee. Pleasure. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed it too. Until the next time, take care, stay safe, stay strong, and happy coffee brewing. Brewing. <laughs> Drinking. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>If you'd like to support the work that we do at Food Lovers TV, do consider joining our membership community on YouTube by hitting the join button below or on the home page. You could pledge a nominal sum and receive special privileges like behind the scenes footage, shoot updates, access to live Q&As and a lot more. You could support us on our Patreon page as well. For more info, check out the links in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and leave a comment below. Happy eating!